Hey, it's Benja. As I promised, along the way of creating my game, I will share tips, tricks and useful tools I work with. In this first video, I will talk about the best tools I found to take notes and gather references. It will serve you as a game developer or artist, as a team or even if you're alone. Taking notes is always useful in any steps of the creation of your game. To write down ideas that spark at random times, to share your ideas with your team, to plan your project or follow its progress. There are many tools that will help you do so and I will show you a few I've tested for myself. You'll see that not only are they great for game development, but they'll probably serve you in many other cases in your everyday life. I will probably miss some key features as this video is not about a full description of each one, but more to show you what it looks like and how it might help you. If one gets your attention, you'll easily find more detail about them on their website and on YouTube. First one, the notebook. As dumb as it may sound, a paper notebook is still quite useful. It's a great way to write down or draw ideas, but I don't think I really have to show you how it works. So let's dive into the software's one. Evernote. I put it first because I've been using it for so long. I used it during my studies and kept using it for many different projects to that day. Evernote looks kind of like an email app where you can create folders in which you create notes. Each note can contain tables, pictures, files and of course text. And you can even switch to a presentation mode to pitch your project in a practical way. Of course, your folders can be shared with other Evernote users. Everything is stocked on the cloud, meaning you can access your notes everywhere as long as you've got an internet connection. It's probably the best of today's list for a clean organization between notes, but the least creative one, I guess. You'll understand this last point with the next ones. Like most of the tools I will show you, there's a free version with a limit on storage and a paid version. Milanote or Mylanote, I, I'm not sure. That's the second one I use the most. It's basically a whiteboard where you can add text, image, files, other boards, to do lists and even draw. I love it for that reason. I can organize my notes in a creative way that makes sense to me. Its downside is that it can quickly become quite messy. I use it along Evernote and it works pretty well for me. Again, it has a free version and paid ones. Trello. Trello is really well known in the world of game dev and I must admit I didn't use it that much. So I will be short as you'll find plenty of people making a better work at presenting it. Trello works in columns. You can add files, text, pictures in each one of these. A common way to use it for a project with a team is to have columns for each step of the creation. It's really easy to use and if you like that left to right way of working, it's the best at it. To me, this one really shines when working with a team. It's got a free version and paid ones again. Eagle. Eagle is becoming more and more popular. I used it for a while to gather references. You can quickly save any picture from the internet inside organized folders, but you can actually use it to store any kind of file and it will be able to display them. You can tag your files to find them quickly and create smart folders out of those tags. I learned that you can actually do way more and save links and videos with it too. I stopped using it as it's only free for a time, but I might just buy it as I kind of miss the way it made it easy to gather references. PureRef. This one is probably the most popular to gather references. It's basically an empty board where you can copy paste any picture you'd like and organize them. You can actually add text too, but I'd say it's not that practical. Where this software shines is with its mode. You can keep it on top of any window you have open, making it a perfect tool for creating art from references. And it's free. I'm sure there are plenty of other great tools for taking notes and references, so please share them in the comment section below. And if you're using one already, then tell us how you're using it and share with us the best features in your opinion. I hope you found something useful in that list and until next episode where I'll share more useful game dev tools, take care!